Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at the weirdest part about the pandemic. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. I don't remember 2021 at all. Dang, that's already been two years. I think that was when things started getting serious for COVID though. Like the lockdown in Australia. Dude, it was starting to get crazy. And that's when we had like 100k cases. And that's when most people got vaccinated. But yeah, I hardly remember 2021. I don't even remember last year, to be honest, or 2020. All I remember is 2019 was my best year. I enjoyed that year a lot. Like I actually had a social life in 2019. <laughs> and then COVID hit and then back to no social life. I live a block away from a very busy highway. While I never really noticed the sound of the highway, when it was gone, the silence was amazing kind of scary if you think about it like no one no one exists anymore kind of thing any type of party on zoom i didn't even use zoom at all honestly what was i doing because i wasn't even on social media the only social media i was on was youtube so i don't even remember what i was doing how fast time went for me i feel like i lived in a time bubble went in early 2020 came out late 2022 dude same i feel like i lost three years of my life 2020 three years ago I was like 23 this year i'm 26 so dang i just skipped three years 26 oh my god i'm old dude i'm old i'm getting old it's been seven years since i first started so i was 19 and now i'm 26 whoa that's crazy that's actually crazy sometimes i look back at some of my videos and i'd be like oh my god i talk so weird or like I just seem so immature or like not immature i'd say i seem like very naive you know like just very pure i mean i'm not saying i'm not pure anymore but <laughs> back then my thoughts were just like just like i didn't care about anything everything was great i was happy just very just very pure i don't know man like oh. I remember some of the restaurants near me started selling groceries during lockdown. It was so weird walking past a high-end restaurant known for its oysters only to see stacks of toilet paper, six pack of beer, non-perishable foods, etc. in its windows. Toilet paper! That was what happened in the pandemic. Toilet paper. People were fighting over toilet paper. Imagine in, like how many years your kids will like see those videos and be like, oh my god. <laughs> What was going on in 2020? Waiting in a lineup outside of the grocery store. Everyone had to stand on a sticker to stay properly distanced from one another and security would wait until someone left before letting another person inside. No such thing as a quick shot during those times. Oof, yeah, social distancing, eh? And wearing masks. Actually, it wasn't even like compulsory in 2020. It was compulsory like 2021 when things were like so bad. But yeah. Dude, crazy how that's already like, what, a year ago? Two years ago, I mean. Wait, really? What the heck? What happened to 2022? I'm mind blown. I'm actually mind blown right now. My personal favorite was how every time there was a COVID spike, a bunch of candles online would suddenly get hundreds of one-star reviews because the candles didn't smell like anything. <laughs> no way. I didn't even know about this. Really? <laughs> Wow. So they just didn't know. Oh my god. That's funny though. <laughs> so I guess all those one star reviews. COVID positive. Playing Animal Crossing for 12 hours a day. But when did Animal Crossing come out? Like 2019, right? No, it came out 2020. No way. I didn't even play it when it came out. I played it pretty late. Wow. How people who were considered essential healthcare, retail workers, farmers had to keep working without any pay increases while everyone else stayed home and got paid. The rich just got richer too. Wow. Also teachers, don't forget teachers. I remember all my friends being like, yeah, I'm just staying home and I get 750 a week. So everyone was just living their lives, honestly. But honestly, the pandemic did make me feel really bad for healthcare workers because they had to work so much. A lot of healthcare workers quit because of it too, because they just couldn't take it anymore. And nothing was being done about it. You know, it was just like, you have to do it. That's all. Sad. When people first started wearing masks and they were sold out everywhere, so people had to improvise and create their own mask with weird random supplies from home. 
Oh. <laughs> Have you guys seen the picture with a guy using a pad as his mask? He just stuck it on his face. <laughs> I mean, I guess, right? I was so afraid of sneezing and coughing in public spaces because people normally started to give you some weird looks. True. True, man. Like, my nose is just crazy in general. Like, I sneeze and I have a runny nose in the morning. Bruh, if I went outside during that time, mm -mm, I'll probably get beat up, not gonna lie. <laughs> Realizing a lot of people I know are idiots. Oh, when you start reading posts about people thinking the pandemic was a lie or like it was fake, it was started by this and that. Yeah. <laughs> Those people are interesting. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.